everyone, welcome back to more time. We ready for another mission? I think we're out. I think we already did all our uh, management stuff previously. There's scavengers marked for death on more band cock exploring. Tell her to place tightly around its wagon. Poor and very poor. Average and average. I think we want to do average and average versus poor and very poor. Some average weird stones, average dwarf stones, and average treasure. Uh, yeah, everything's, everyone's already ready to go, right? Yeah, we had the new henchman re replace our injured guy who's healing. Let's just do the launch mission. Let's have it launch and deploy. Is launch mission like auto deployment? I don't know what the difference is, if anything. And it's a good time to go to the bathroom or get a cup of tea or something, because we Another war band is have to wait for loading time. Buildings. Dispersed in the ruins, the scavengers present an inviting target for your warriors as they deploy near your wagon. So we are the war band around the wagon. And the enemy are split up into the... The enemies are split up into the buildings. And we want to, optional, take out Geno Genoveva Solm and Genoveva Stern and take their stuff. Seems... If they're all split up, it seems like we have a big advantage here. Especially because we are being scaven and agile enough we should be able to get up the walls and everything if we need to. To, uh, overwhelm them. Maybe try to stick together, at least travel in pairs, so if we run into them alone in the building, we can outnumber them and force them to take those morale checks. I told you, loading times are ridiculous, for the, at least for the first time of the game. I started a Chaos War ban to play on my own time when I'm not recording. And there was some fun mutations and things. I really would like even more factions this game. I really like this game, but I feel like, I don't know, I don't think it's going to reach its maximum potential, honestly. I'm enjoying the game a lot, I think I'm going to play it a lot. And I like it, but I feel like they could do a lot more. More missions, more uh, maps, more factions, more units, more items, like a lot of more stuff. And too much complexity is bad, but I feel as if this one, with how rich the Warhammer universe is, there's so much room for more stuff to be put in here. Especially more than just the four factions. Maybe at least like a couple more factions. Really differentiate them, really get... Uh, Significantly different faction, throwing some orcs. I'm surprised there's no orcs in Warhammer game. Maybe some dwarves. Very tough, slow dwarves. Kind of a, you know, opposite of the Skaven, agile and kind of frail. And then the dwarves, very slow, a little tougher. But of course, I was asking a lot. I'm sure it takes a very long time to, you know, you have to get the art for all the models and you have to do all the the balancing for all the units and their stats and everything and equipment and then they have to actually fit in the game you can't you can't really just have variety for the sake of variety so we have multiple factions but some of the factions are basically identical you're kind of just i mean that's not very it's not a lot of quality is it versus just a few what more fleshed out actually different factions that have a a niche Versus they have a human faction, they have another human faction that might not be different enough from the other ones, and so what's the point of having a different owner of human faction? Like, they have the Chaos, we could add, they could add the Chaos Warbands for each god, but then for each cult, but is that really, like, significant? Is that different enough? Don't know. Why we have not that much, we have less morale. I think our total morale is a little, a little bit lower. Alright, I, and also this map is... Is the map actually that big, or can we just look way past where we should be able to look? Well, there's their wagon. We can go loot their wagon. Definitely want all this. I'll cut all the stone we need. And want... Do we just run into the middle of the town and start taking stone? Uh, I'm running up to the left. I think I'll send a pair to the left. A pair... The hero... We'll go south. I'll let the hero go after the wagon again. That seems to be, seems to be good at that. If the hero... Go after the wagon, the leader will... He'll take an engine with them, the leader will go with everyone else. To uh, to loot the or just go fight the enemies. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a loot right here. Pick it up. 50, 50 money. All right. It's nice little nice little bonus. And ambush stance. The other one comes around this corner and we stab him. All right, Snat Scarn. You're one of our warp guard. I think we should send the Verminkin. We? Is there any warp stone over here? There's no warp stone over here. So the warp guards go towards the warp stone because they have that that warp resistance. What the heck just happened? 
Oh, and we had a trap. I forgot about traps. The game really didn't like that, though. Um, extra hit chance. It's a, it's a buff, so apparently that's good for him. Even though he has no... Does he have a ranged weapon? I don't remember. Does he have shuriken? I'm pretty sure he has shurikens, doesn't he? Can we even change our weapon type? Apparently, okay, I don't think he actually does have shurikens. No, it's not. You're not perception. Perception is how you... Using perception is how you see the traps and stuff. Anyway, Warstone right up here. Let's see if we can't just gather all this up. I don't do we actually need to pick it up? If we get a decisive enough victory, do we just pick the stuff up anyway? I don't think I don't remember if we do. I don't think we do, based off the results of the last map. I don't remember what the tutorial said. And it wasn't one of the text tutorials, like they actually had to play a tutorial and I don't really want to go back all the way through the tutorial to see what it said. Catch up with our hero. Go in this building. See what's inside. Is there any loot? Can you, is that loot right there? That's yeah, loot, okay. I go and hang out in the building. Through the little club. Wait, aren't you the. You're the Verminkin? Can we send a warp guard over there? Do we have two Verminkin? Oh, I thought we had two warp guards. I must have accidentally sent two Verminkin. So two warp guards. I meant to send two warp guards. Whoops. Oh well. I guess you just have to eat the debuffs from the warp stone. And your units can't stand too close to each other. And now our leader, our awesome Azarneth Scuttle, who destroyed last time. Why are you getting this building? You set up for an ambush, like a proper ambush or something. Is there a, a door over here? No door out. Well, I guess there's no point being in here if you're just going to. If you can't get back out, so never mind. Get out, get out of the building. You're moving back. Uh, that seems dangerous. Stay away from that. Head around this corner. Head around this corner. That seems fair. Doesn't our hero have firearms? I forgot we gave him. Should have given him firearms. I believe he did. Are you gonna get the ambush? Oh, she's going into ambush stance. I don't think I have a ranged weapon to punish her for that. And she probably stopped right side of our ambush range. So I'm gonna have to run into it and eat that ambush. I'm pretty sure actually we did give our hero uh warp pistols. I forgot I completely forgot he had warp pistols. He's one of the claws. I'm like, oh yeah, he has claws, whatever. God he has uh he reasoning as a ranged guy, but okay. Peter's having uh, hiccups today. Weird. Having lots of trouble today. Hopefully I can get a, uh, a new one in <laughs> the next few months. Proper real modern computer. This one's only a few years old, but you know, in terms of technology, that's ancient. They're sure are taking their time about the turn, aren't they? Did they say there's only three of them? When the round starts, we gotta look at the initiation again. Oh, two on the English stance up here. A new round has started. Oh, well, we all get to go before they go. We have way more initiative than you. they do. If we get to their wagon, we can steal their... Can you maybe send the Verminkin, Malk Slinker, and send our henchmen to their... ...the wagon, and we use our hero. You have to have a weapon, right? Perception, change weapons, yeah. You have ranged weapon. Let's get you up here. <sighs> Stupid traps. What does that do? Uh... Warp dust. Less range resistance. Oh, well, that's not good. I do want that control on... The control button shows that thing that affects our chances of doing things. Let's get get up here. Seriously, you had like a 90% chance of... Wow, and you failed. 93% chance, there you go. Get all the way up here, because you have your warp pistols. And... You unfortunately... Maybe not... I not be able to get anything from up here. Actually, that might have been a poor... Uh, or spot for you. And we don't actually all go for they do. I don't know why our hero has such huge... Our hero has really huge uh, initiative. And he needs to be here to start punching them for just sitting on ambush stance. But he's too far away. And they kind of have aggregated here in the middle. It's going to be a, it's about to be a big, big battle. Very dodge. 
Don't have any ranged. Uh, I think we pull one of them into combat and just go to town. So you eat the. Oh, you can charge her. Because her ambush stands for off? Is it for a new round, probably? So she counterattacks, okay. So <laughs> the counterattack surprise should lower her chance of actually hitting us with the counterattack. But she got us anyway. Oh man, there's a lot over here. We really, okay, we need our other two. We forget the. I forget the. Charger? Yeah, let's go here. Oh, we, we, I moved into range of that ambush. That's annoying. Ouch. We need to attack her back. We need to forget the wagon. We need some help back here. Or maybe the henchmen going and grabbing, taking out their. It might be worth it to have the henchmen take out their, uh, their morale. But our hero is on an awkward spot. Alex, I think you're the one going for their. Yeah, you're the one going for their. So yeah, forget scavenge. We don't have time for this big battle going on in the middle of town. And there, the sisters of Sigmar are pretty tough, so. Or squatter too much time. Yeah, here, the, here it is. Can he make it? Oh, he's so close. Next round. All right. As or not the scuttle, you're you're a big hitter. Uh, tch -tch -tch. What do we have here. We have their henchman, sister superior, and henchman novice. Let's get the sister superior. That's their leader. Or should we just engage their leader? It is the assassin. Like, this is the assassin character. But if we gang up on them right now, that might be better than we can gang up on the, uh, the leader afterwards. So yeah, hit her, hit her hard, poison her. Ah, he missed. Ah, assassin, you can't miss. We <laughs> really can't afford that. She's outnumbered though, so if they don't come help her, they'll uh, shall take a test. There you go, all on check. Ah, she succeeded. What do you, Elven? What does that mean? What? What? what, what, what? She had some sort of buff going. We're healing or something. Snat Scarn's not doing so hot. These sisters of Sigmar hit pretty hard. Ugh. <laughs> we really need our hero to come in here and. Uh, start doing some work. And she healed. Yeah, they're herself or her friend. We don't have any, we don't have consumables. Maybe we should start bringing in consumables. A new round has started. Okay, our hero is just in a desperately bad spot. But, here we go. Switch weapon. Confirm switch. Now, you have targets, right? Yeah, you have targets. Just Geneva Sturm? Well, it's better than no one. Here's the warp ammo debuff. I don't even remember what that does, but. Got her with it. Let's reload. Reload. I doubt she can get up here to. much about it. I don't know what the talisman does that they're using, but I don't. I don't like they're doing it. She's sitting on ambush, interesting. Their hero is just sitting there on ambush. Yeah, she's in such a spear in heavy armor. Which is good that we hit her with the poison, though. And dodge. Dodge stance. Wish I knew what the talisman did. What are you doing? Are you trying to ambush them? He's going to sit there and shoot you. You can't ambush them. Yeah, let's take their stuff. Uh, steal enemy's idol. Yes, Sigmar's idol. Take it. Exit. I just put a divot in their morale, right? Oh, and he gets a buff for that. Yeah, look at that. Like, took out half the morale. Uh, plus extra movement range and easier dodging. But his position is revealed. But now we're gonna loot their wagon as well. You know, while we're over here, build the cart. Just a helmet and a spear. 
Are you... Can you really only... Oh, you must have really low strength. Yeah, you almost have two strengths, so I can't hold more stuff. We'll take the helmet. I don't think we have any helmets. And now... You... I guess you just start heading back. Head back to the actual fight. Alright, get, get in the building. Okay, Malk. Get in the house. That character is on ambush. We want to be careful about that, unless we can... Get here, put on our own ambush. She turns corner and ambush her. Now with this big melee going on. Oh, it's a mess. But luckily they're not getting their leader involved for whatever reason. So that does give us a, <laughs> a big advantage in that they're just not using one of their stronger characters to actually fight. Let me check out their hero. Nice. Pretty sure it said it was a henchman, but I think a uh, Genova Solm. Hero, yeah, it's just superior. Okay, it's a hero. I must have swear it the first time. Oh, this is the poison should take her out if we hit. Nope, not quite enough damage, I think. Unless it stacks, I don't remember the poison stackable. Uh it doesn't seem to be stackable. You should see that it all alone checking in. No! Snat scarred! Not Snatsgarn! Aw, oh, Snatsgarn's down. Uh-oh, now we're outnumbered. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, this is what went. This took a, took a horrible turn. They were supposed to be separated, alright? And then they all ended up in the middle. A new round has started. Uh, we need to disengage, probably. Or, oh, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, you're engaging our poor verminkin over here. I mean, you're probably going to destroy him because you're a leader and just a, a henchman. Yeah, but look at him. Uh, uh oh, this one got out of hand real fast. And now they're getting it up on him. Uh, we should have just went in a swarm. Like sca proper Skaven. We're not playing like Skaven. It's how, how can you not shoot? Only 49%. Aim 69%. Should aim the first time. I forgot that was a thing. Big shot! Digit, you missed. You, uh, oh, that's actually really bad. You need to do all the damage you can do. Did we just, did we flee? I forget how to flee. I forget how we just bail out of here. Perception? Yeah, perception. End of turn. Uh, he failed his all alone check. Oh, and I was gonna be beat on for that. Lost all of his, uh, Lost all his points to actually fight. Well, this this went. This did not work out as I intended. Oh, I should have focused on the not heavy armor character, probably. She has one HP. She still can I see her? Uh, she's poisoned. Buff, debuff. She does not seem to be poisoned anymore. Effect mechanic plus ten percent wounds plus five percent wards gathered on winning. I don't zet. Does she get a buff just for it being a normal? Alright. We can finish her off so we can disengage at least. There we go. Can you take on two at once? Probably not. The hero there, if you move here, you might actually have a chance with the amount of damage you can do to her. If you don't miss! Oh! <laughs> it's like XCOM all over again. Be like, okay, as long as you don't miss, we'll be fine. And then, of course, you miss. Because he could have landed that hit, poisoned her, it's a bunch of damage. Next round, hit her again, she did, and it's one v only with this lady. And of course he missed. If he passes his all alone check... He had to hit that... Oh, it's so frustrating. He had to hit that to get this. A new round has started. A new? Overwatch? Did he not have any shots? Yeah, he have a shot. Tell me you don't have a shot. Really, be great if you hit that 7% shot. There you go. Might be our ace in the hole having our, uh, our night runner up here shooting guys with pistols. And turn. Uh, Malk, just tank a little bit longer. 
If you can disengage and run, that'd be cute. That'd be cool. Oh, you failed your all on check, so you're, you're boned. Yeah. Okay, you better succeed your all on check. You. Henchman, sister, henchman, novice. What the novice? Way less armor. And chance to. You are useless! How do you miss all these shots? Attack, 85%. How have you missed all these high chance uh, hits? It's a big problem. Just just dodge and dodge it up. Maybe you should disengage that. Like disengage, go back in for oh good, you, you dodge one. But she gets second attack, so. Oh you survived! Ooh. I think it was an extra turn of actually fighting. That might have been huge. <coughs> Scuttle, not being able to dodge anything is a huge problem, however. If he dies, I think our morale's broken, for sure. Oh, if he would have hit her twice, there's two hits he should have landed that he missed for no reason. Your warband morale is critically low. Yeah, warband's about to warband morale is about to fail. If we can just take all their morale so low too, if we can finish them off just a little bit. We're close. We're so close. Route test failure, and we lost. Ugh! If we hit if we hit that 80 some percent chance. Oh, it's so frustrating. We missed so many high percent shots there. Roll the dice, that's how it goes. Well, yeah, now our warriors are hurt, guess what? Like XCOM, they deserved it. Got most valuable, put one out of there. Well, Marshall, we still get experience, but we don't get, you know, all the resources that we wanted to get. We drop our backpacks, we didn't really get much. Ugh. Some equipment, yeah, so he lost his, his stuff, and now he's wounded. Open wounds! We have to heal that. Hopefully I get healed. Right? That's not... Okay, full recovery. Hey, good job! Alright, so at least we have having some full recovery happen. We... We failed to, uh, get stuff. Did, are you saying you lost your weapons? Aimed hand. Uh... Chance to hit... Reduce 10%. Well, you were probably going to get fired for that. That's a big problem. I think we have to treat them. I think we're obligated to treat them before we fire them, though. And a mysterious ailment, unknown disease, base wound value reduced by 10. That might be small enough to... Like, maybe not ignore? Obviously, we have to treat it, but... Is getting stronger. That might be... Not a big enough deal to have to fire them, because firing a warrior, giving them... That has experience. It's a big cost on hiring a new one. Idle buff effect increased. And one more henchman slot. Alright. I did not. They, they. The enemy warband. They're supposed to be split up, but then they kind of aggregated way faster than I expected. So let's just do some management. Pay everyone. Uh. Yeah, upkeep. The warriors. All keep has been paid. Don't have to do treatment costs. Oh, oh, you guys just automatically getting. I don't have to pay for treatment for that. I suppose not. Who is the one with the maimed hand? Injuries. You have the maimed hand. I probably won't get fired for that, to be honest, Mr. Maimed Hand, Mr. Uh, Malik Slinker. I uh, go back to camp. And Smuggler's Den, we didn't get any warp stone for that. Yeah, yeah, reserve, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Mr. Where'd you get Warp Rage from? Oh, is that for the Vermikin? Is that like a Vermi oh, that's something the Vermikin always had, that's why I missed. Alright, that's probably why they uh, cost a little bit more. They have Warp Rage. I did not notice before. We have another extra henchman slot. Let's do two Vermin two Warp Guards after I see what Warp Rage is. You have the Mysterious. Well, you need to back off anyway because you're injured. You need to hire three more guys. This is going to be expensive. Alright, Warp Guard. Confirm. Vermin Kin. What is Warp Rage? Skills. 
After gathering weird stone, damage increases by 15 and dodge by 10 per turn. That's pretty good. Especially if he picks him up on the way to, you know, punch someone in the face. Seems fair enough to actually focus on picking up warp stone, which we could have because there's that big pile in the middle. Ah, we just should have split up. Going after the wagon like that, we need to stick together a little bit better. How are you shooting pistols with that, like, blindfold on your face? Let's do two warp guards to Vermkin. Seems, you know, fair enough. Fair enough deal. You skilled up. Two skill points. You can actually get skills. However, it costs money that we don't have, so never mind. You can't get skills. We do not have the money. I'm not sure what I'd even take anyway. Uh, probably not a toughness <laughs> skill. A leadership skill. Probably a leadership skill, right? Maybe like a passive. There's like a passive leadership skill. Increased morale would be good, especially for Skaven. Increased morale. Stone resistance. Or, because he's the assassin, give him some, uh. Give him some fancy melee skills. Is there like a. Accuracy. After dealing melee damage, reduce melee resistance. Attacks bypass 5% dodge parry, that'd be nice. Critical hit chance reduce increase by 2%, that'd be nice. Increase melee hit chance, crit, crit melee chance by 5% if engaged with two more enemies. See, any range damage is not really range. Yeah, increase the critical hit damage by 10%, that'd be great if we stack some more critical hit chance on him. That was a really, was a really disappointing loss. I think we have enough time for another one. Yeah, because that was shorter than I expected. Let's do next day. And firm, yes, sort of business taken care of. Three warriors receiving treatment. We don't have enough money because we didn't win to actually skill up our guy, although we could. We can't skill him anyway because he has to stick out for training. We'd have to hire a new leader, which don't have money for his skill and a leader anyway. So we just have to kind of ignore the fact that he has a skill available, unfortunately. Campaign. Deadly. Rivals in the ruins. Good, good. Probably can't handle that. And brutal. Ouch. Brutal and scary. Do I have to send scouts for something not so... Discover potential mission. Go for it. Brutal. Exceptional. Where is that? Horrors of more time. We have to do a brutal. One more band, three strike teams. Others scattered. Scared by something. So it seemed like launch. Yeah, we didn't deploy for uh launch mission. This launch deployed. deployed us. Although you seem to deploy close enough. Everyone deploys close enough to each other anyway. That I think we can skip deployment. For most of these missions. Well, we have to do diddly or brutal brutal. I don't want to spend a bunch of money on scouts. Especially because we're already kind of poor. So let's try brutal. We'll go for it. We'll see if we can handle it. A hideous manifestation frightened your warriors. Objective. Your war Keep your idol secured within the shrine. Steal the idol of the enemy. And, and secure it in your chest. That sounds complicated. To your warriors. 566. I don't know what our point value is. Exceptional warp stone on, on the ground, though. Because we need that for the delivery. Otherwise, this war band's going to be disbanded really quickly. Which is fine. It's our first real campaign, so if it... You know, it goes south real quick. It's a learning. It's a learning experience. Hideous man face has frightened your warriors and scattered your war band. Okay, we're the one that's uh, split up this time. Then the war band arrived and deployed patrols to intercept your warriors. So we need to do like the sisters did to beat us. We need to meet up real quick. We can actually actually fight. So we don't get caught all caught out. Split up, especially as Skaven with our poor morale. But we're agile, so we should be able to it should be easy to, you know, meet up, right? Especially if we know where their wagon is, so we'd have an idea where the enemy's coming from, so we just run away from them and meet up get them at our wagon. Hopefully it isn't too bad. I feel like our leader went down too quickly against those enemies that he fought. I'm kinda of disappointed. Maybe some more dodge chance, some more agility. Or if you actually hit, no, he would have won if you just hit those shots. And then he could have taken down the novice, could have messed up the morale enough that we actually could have won that. That's, that's what that's what really hurts. Is that, that wasn't a hopeless fight at all. We had a great chance to actually win that. Could have forced some to take a morale test. 
Which ain't then mine just passed and we fail our morale test. Like we both panic and they pass the morale test and we fail and we still lose. But at least we would have a chance. Which is what that means to sisters. Right about what the heck is that? Messed up. Oh, a Skaven. A Skaven band? Enemy Skaven band? Oh, we're not really split up at all. Look at that. Apparently we saw him over there. So you're our ranged guy. So that's, you're in the basement. Oh, hey, buddy. So you should get up on the roof. Are you, you serious? You ser it's okay. It's alright. There's a contingency for this event happening. Back off. And then you hit delay. And then you uh, push your initiative back so you can act further. Because I can't get past my own guy who's blocking the doorway. So I want to get this guy on the roof because he has a gun. So maybe there's a firing position up there. That's one thing that kind of... Oh, we didn't buy any consumables. That's one thing the sisters used to pull out victory there. That they had consumables. Keep your idol secured within the shrine. I don't know what shrine they're talking about. I should have looked on the map for that. Shrine, shrine, shrine. Skulk Master. That's a lot of... A lot of weird stone. Is it just... Is it the shrine our... Our wagon? Possible. Wagons seem awfully close. Alright. Our leader, right? Is it, is it our leader? Or it pause because we're on the screen. Are you, are you serious? I delayed you so that you could solve this. Why is it your turn again? Ah, oh, fine, forget it. Just get out of here. Yeah, I don't think he, oh, I can't change weapons now. Got to go back here. Now I can't change weapons. Nope. How many points does it take to change weapons? I didn't give you a gun. Did, did, did you lose your gun? Maybe just as I have points to change weapon. I swear it was not so many points to change weapon, though. And I don't think you can actually ambush down that ledge, so that's kind of silly. Is it a different... different? Is it a different Skaven without the pistols? I swear it's the same guy. Because he wasn't out of action. He was a... Uh, wolf and everything when we lost that fight and routed. We need we need to do some spotting or something. So around here. In fact, we can see that guy. It says I can see him. Oh, he's down there. Yeah, he's right down there. Hmm. Can we hold the high ground up here? So let's sit right here. If we can get that, if we do have that range weapon. I can get over here. Ambush stance, if they come for the jump the ledge, we'll ambush them. Let's uh, cover the bridge. Oh, this is where it'd be great for a ranged guy to go over here. Assuming he does have his pistols. Which I don't remember seeing anything suggested that he lost his pistol. You are just kind of way far away from everyone. Need to run up here. Oh, is this our wagon? No, that's a wagon. That's the idol? Is that the idol? It's all sorts of, it's, it's something really dorky looking. That's what it is. Alright, if they come up this... If they try to jump up here, they're gonna be in big trouble. Keep it secure in your chest. What chest? I don't, I don't know what chest they're talking about. The wagon chest? When they say chest, maybe they mean wagon? Where the heck are you? You're kinda of off on your own. You... Oh, yeah, you're kinda of off on your own. I guess you can scavenge right away. Get some extra money. Because we desperately need money. Uh, where are you? I need you to get... You're kind of off on your own. You need to be careful is what you need to do. Interact. Leap across. Don't fall. Okay, good. You can see anyone from there. There's their leader, Pestclaw. Scarn. 
You might just need to run, actually. So they see you come after you and you're over here all alone. Or, I mean, you're right next to there. That's our wagon. Protect our wagon. I guess you can watch the wagon. Which weapons? Do you have a shuriken? Like, why, why do you have a ranged weapon? I mean, I mean... Yeah, you have little shurikens. That's cute. Overwatch. Alright, Overwatch. Protect the wagon with your shurikens. That you inexplicably have. Why are you so slow? Why is there... Why is our assassin so slow? Like, his initiative should be way higher than this. And you do not have... You have shurikens, don't you? Can you hit this guy with your shuriken? I don't think you can fit in the other side. See. Nope, maybe fit right there. Ah! Ah! Yeah, you can shoot him. I don't think you can aim. Can you aim? Can you take an aim shot? No, you can't aim with it. At least not yet. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Got him! You can take. An, you should be able to take another shot, actually. Oh, you have to reload. You have to reload your shuriken. Pull out another shuriken. Throw it out again. Yeah, all right. That's pretty good. Decent damage. A new round has started. Right, they, they are tals talismaning too. Oh, we don't have talismans. Oh, I actually, they get an Overwatch shot. Nice. Oh, here comes their leader. He doesn't have poison swords. Those are just regular, it's like a sword and dagger. But now we know for sure you do have weapons. Okay, for some reason you just... Why can't you access them before? It's one OP and two... Whatever the blue ones are called again. I don't know why you can access them before. Which weapons? Apparently we're having like a ranged Skaven strategy here. Oh wait, can you can you aim instead? You cannot take an aim shot. Just a regular shot. And a leader, of course. Take the shot. Alright, computer sick up again, for whatever reason. Then with the warp ammo debuff. That I didn't check on what that actually does. I was too excited to go into another Go into another round. Perception? You're not gonna jump down. Go for a perception. Failure. Oh, okay. Let's see if there's any traps around anyone should be aware of. We've done a decent amount of damage without the- Oh, we have two guys with dual swords. I'm trying to climb up here? Where... Who is that? Where'd he go? Reload. Can't see anyone now, can you? Nope. This call crack here can't see anyone. He might want to come around here through his house. To meet up with uh, his allies. Which will require him to switch weapons again. So he doesn't get caught flat footed. 62%. Jump down? That's pretty low. Do we just need to take the stairs? Interaction. Jump down. 78%. Try to reduce. Silly damage we take. Alright. Now sit in ambush stance. Have to be worried about this guy, he's all on his own. We don't want to lose MSR morale, because he gets he gets ganged up and ganged up on over here by himself. We also need to be oh, we can't get this weird stone, they're all over this weird stone. It should be nice to get the weird stone because we have high weird stone either high weird stone resistance or we have Characters that get buffs from picking up weird stone. Can you really not see anyone? You do not have shurikens. Is there a wagon straight over there? It's not have to go all the way around. Then you're kind of off on your own. You don't want to do that. I just have you delay. Have you delay. 
until our ranged characters do some more work. Probably the same with you. I have the henchman delay. I don't know why warp cards are so fast. Our initiative seems really weird. Like, why is our initiative all doofy? What happened? Like, our leadership initiative, our leader's initiative used to be super high. And so is our heroes, and now we seem really low compared to the henchmen. I did not level up the characters, did I? I completely forgot. I didn't actually use the level up points we got. Should be fine for this. I mean, we seem to be in a decent enough position. That was really silly. Way too excited. It's a new game. I'm having fun with it. Forgot to actually level up the characters. Because you can't do it from the like post battle screen. You have to go like back into the management screen to mess around with it. Which should be like a little change to do the interface. I should be able to level up the characters from that post battle screen that tells me that they got level up points. Looks like we're not gonna be able to delay hard enough to do what I want to do. Need delay again. Let's try it. Let's see. Let's see what repeat delays. If we're able to delay hard enough to actually do what I want to do. If it doesn't work, it's a pretty inefficient use of our movement points. But yeah, okay. Which weapons? Don't you waste some time with those firearms. When you can just punch guys in the face. Got an ambush, some counterattack, although we not counterattack, just attack, it's our turn. He attacked us. Should have enough points for another attack. You do not have enough points for another attack. To disengage, do not need to disengage. Very so fun dodge. Alright. Our leader should have a pretty good advantage over that guy though. Oh, don't tell me you can't oh you can't jump down from there. Yep. Destination is obstructed and that guy is blocking the path. That's really unfortunate. And you You have a range weapon though. You get here. Switch weapons. Your little shurikens and just shoot this guy. At least try a shot. Well, it wasn't particularly efficient, but... Okay, let's sleep down. 56% is pretty bad. Also, I don't have... this on. And... I don't have that on. Okay. I do want to leap down. Firm leap down. And you failed. It's okay, you take pretty small damage for that. Pretty small amount of damage. Yeah, now you can charge this guy in the back. Perfect. He missed, but he's going to have to take a morale check for being all alone. Especially, oh no, you can't, because you're being overwhelmed. Ever you can also oh you can't jump down from here. Well, in case anyone tries getting up, which I don't think they can jump up here because it's way too far and there's no way to actually climb. We're messing around with the delay stuff. What the heck is that? Did he hit a trap? Looks like he hit a trap. I don't think an ambush. Who the heck is this? Is this our guy that's off on his own? Yeah, it's the guy that's off on his own. Trying to defend the Wow, he took a crit. That's bad. He's just trying to defend the uh A new round has started. Defend the camp, and we shouldn't have. I'm starting to think we shouldn't have shields. Shields help protect us from range. They give the option to parry, but we're not going to be parrying a lot of stuff because we have better dodge. So we take two-handed. We take uh, dual wielding like they all are. That'll increase our damage. Of course, we're not doing that because we don't have the money or supplies. Really, oh, oh, <laughs> this guy. He was caught in his own. What am I going to do? I tried to get him out of there in a reasonable, reasonable way, but he's not going to. It's probably not going to last. We are uh, messing up their leader, something fierce, though. Let's get 61, 61, hit the leader. That's going to make him real sad. I wish you can get down there and actually use your uh, weapons, but... They can do with what we got. I have like 60 gold, okay? I can't buy everyone a second weapon right now. Up down, even though you have a good chance of just landing on your butt, taking a little bit of damage. There you go. Nine damage is pretty, that's whatever. And you can charge this guy. 
Get him, uh... Engaged. That's a lot of damage. Force a morale check on him. Firstly, you. Alright, attack. 75, 79. I think our... Slightly better chance that this guy he has a warp ammo debuff, so you're even better to hit him. Hit him. Get him low enough that our leader can take him out and finish him off. This would be easier if we had a couple extra skill points <laughs> from leveling up, you know. You have guns. You're the hero. We have not seen you around yet. He's trying something sneaky. Uh, 71% chance to jump down is not bad. Can't stop here. Alright, I think we jump down. You know, this is a nice little uh, spot to hang out. Can you... You have to reload, don't you? Alright, reload. And... Can't... Can't see the hero, can ya? Nope. No, I see the leader. I think actually I'm gonna have you do... Jump down. It's pretty agile. Yeah, he should be fine. He's the hero after all. And then you can... Where'd this guy go? Where'd their hero go? Right here. Shoot him. 69%. Shoot him in the face. He has a friend next to him. That's actually kind of bad. And that's not the hero, that's the henchman. That's not the guy we want to shoot at. I don't think we can see him. We can only see. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Tail claw. But he's in cover. So we're unlikely to hit him. So you know what? Let's actually just take the best shot we can. Let's run back here. We don't want to be engaged in melee when he does have his melee opens out. Run back here and just take the best shot that we can. 47, 49, 47, 49. There you go, you hit him. Alright. There's about to be a big pile of bodies. Where are you getting? What are you doing? Oh, they just get out oh, that poor, uh, this poor, what, Thorcus go back, whatever. But, we're about to, we have a huge advantage over here in this fight. Jinto throw Cutter's turn. I long ram because I have way too much stuff. Mike Peter. There's been these weird hiccups lately, anyway. Could just be croating after like thousands of hours of use. Uh, yeah, why why is my leader on the tail end of the initiative ladder? Need to get him some more initiative. He should not be going last. Wait, almost almost got him. The poison though isn't going to finish him off. But you can't attack again. That will finish him off. There you go. Look at the leader. It's gonna mess him up pretty hard. Yeah, the morale's real hurt now. Now we gang up on this guy. A new round has started. And he failed his all moon check, so he loses his turn. And you can now jump down here. Which is nice. You can actually be a little more useful than what you were. Ooh, it's free action. It is full trinket, sure. I don't shoot him. Actually, we do hit him. Might kill him. You're not gonna kill him. In fact, better yet. Uh, shoot this guy, I guess. 70% and. Bap. Scuttle tail claw. And then reload, even though you're probably just going to change your weapon soon. Because you're going to get engaged in melee. Guess I don't know where that guy is. Then it's their hero. Then it's our hero, who is right... Oh, there he is. They're coming from, they're coming from this side. 
You just run past their shuriken guy? He did. Just ran right past the guy with the shurikens. And then you try to shoot the guy with the shurikens and missed. That's really good for us. They're making some weird decisions now. I charge into him. I want you to get into melee. I've had enough fun with the guns. Claws out. Can you charge in? Apparently, you cannot charge. I swear I just saw charge up here. There it is, charge. Apparently, yeah, it's probably coming at the wrong angle. Or better yet, can you charge? Yeah, just charge the guy with pistols. <laughs> oh my gosh! That damage! That is so good. Do not flee, stay. Ambush that guy that was, he wasn't, melee weapons weren't ready. That really messed him up. What the heck is he doing? He just running. They're really trying to get into this big pile over here. Kind of weird. i to try to finish off Haskus, Gaskus, screw. Good job. If you move, he's gonna hit you in the ambush. Well, that's fine, because better you than our leader, so. Just eat the ambush. And then go and dodge. Yeah, I think we got this one, even though we kind of aren't at our maximum power. Because we didn't level up our guys before going into the fight. And dodge stance. Yeah, the morale is about to break. We can take out another guy or two. So should we take out this hero that we just that we just did a ton of damage to? And I should be able to get our leader over here to actually do that. So behind him. Oh, the ambush! Ah, I saw him going to ambush too. So I can sneak behind him without that actually being a problem. Well, our leader is way superior to this little henchman, so we should be all right anyway. I just wasn't as uh, decisive as I wanted. I'd be careful, our leader is getting low. Oh, and he doesn't have his uh, weapons on. He doesn't have much at all. This guy kind of. That's opponent hero kind of sucks. It's Night Runner. I say as we miss. But our hero has a second attack, right? Yeah. Almost did. Maybe this guy behind us? The Shuriken guy? Mr. Shuriken might be able to help out. We need even combat over here? That's not good. We should... We need to... Uh, we don't want even combat. Because we want to force them to make morale checks. Switch weapons. Then who's going next? That's the wrong button. This button I need. You're down. To go get their idol or whatever, I don't think it's gonna happen. We're just in the middle of combat right now. Go finish off the hero, maybe? Try to get involved in the hero. Yeah, because the hero starts to take a turn. Can you fit through? There you are. Fit through there, try and finish him off. Ah. Oh, did not delay. And you, you guys are just, just duking it out. It's actually has to get throw cutter up here. Not hurt. It's kind of kind of a big problem, actually. Now there's a vermin hide. That's what they're going through. They're going to uh, engage our weakened henchmen. Dodge. There you go. The henchmen survive. One of them survive. One of them take wounds or mess up our morale. Oh man, that poor hero. <laughs> he's just he's, he's garbage. Alright, it seems like that turns really good for us. We should be able to destroy them. I don't know why our leader goes last. Earlier is going first. I don't think he has any debuffs or anything. Just finish him off. This might just force him to route. Did we win? Did we just. Oh, shield. Oh, sure. Can this guy have a lot of stuff? How about a dagger? I don't think we can use maces for the most part. 
Grab a dagger. Start giving some people some daggers. I think we sold our last dagger. I don't need the warp train dude. Not part of a we don't have a quest for that, so it doesn't matter. And dodge dance. A new round has started. They didn't route! I was gonna say, what how are they not routing? Do I have to wait till like their turn to actually route? For them to route or something? Because they have no morale. Especially now that they're super dead. Alright, there we go. About to save. I'm pretty sure I destroyed them. We did not get our bonus objective done. Do I did we not get weird stones? I have to go we didn't go pick those up, man. That's real rough. I have to actually go pick up the weird stones while fighting, and if I Huh. So without bold warband is without ending the mission, we need to fetch the warps to man, that's hard. Alright, that's interesting though. Got that figured out. Yeah, we definitely need to. Underdog bonus, so I guess we were supposed to be underdog, but we kinda wrecked him. That's nice. good, a bunch of extra experience. And we need to actually level up while we're doing this. The gods are with And no one went they only that we had one guy go out of action. Just cut off on his own. Oh, wow. <laughs> the Skulk Master, they got beat on by three dudes. Permanent strength reduction by one. Uh and survive pull through. Gains an extra experience point for the near death experience. And a concussion, even more oh man, we gotta fire him too. He has a one strength after all that. I don't think that recovers once their wounds are back. I think that's just permanent permanent stability. But wait until they until the true cuts we have to pay for treatment anyway. I believe the game said that. So he gets treatment and is still debuffed. So we get items. Okay, we did get weird stone. Alright, we didn't get extra from picking it up. We got it. Alright, here's what I was looking for. So it didn't tell us in that one screen because we didn't actually pick it up in our inventory. But here it tells us what we got off the battlefield. Alright, that makes it feel way better. Alright, so pay upkeeps. Or pay treatments. And then pay upkeeps. Alright. And then if those warriors are... Permanently disabled. Oh, we're out of reserves. So I might have to fire someone. Just to make room for someone not wounded. And you got real messed up. Let's just fire him. You're fired. Get out of here. Stop. Hire a new guy. Not a vermin. Verminkin. What's well, the shields? Let's uh, do some proper management. You have shurikens. You have light armor. You have an amulet. We don't have any talismans. We'll have to buy a talisman, I suppose. And we don't wear helmets, evidently. Not wear helmets. You want any light armor for you? Your weapons are fine. You, yeah, okay, here we go. Shield allows you to parry chance. We don't care. But here's the uh, passive bonuses that we do like, though. Extra range and mana resistance, or get a touch more damage. I think I like. I think I like going for them. Touch more damage. We do suffer when you do wield to get. Uh, damage penalty, but I don't think our vermin can need shields. Probably need some light armor. Oh, they get a dodge bonus without it. You? Are you injured? You are injured. You have an injury, though. I wish I could check from the screen, so don't give it unnecessary equipment to people. Sure can, sure, why not? If you, uh, I don't know where spare sure against. Maybe the warp guards should have the spare shuriken. The warp guards keep the shields. The vermin however, should definitely have the daggers. Cool daggers. You're injured too. I don't remember who is like permanently disabled and who's kind of okay. Well, yeah, well, yeah, you get a dagger. And you already have shurikens. And that's that's that then. So I guess they're not fired, and we're keeping them around, so might as well give them our equipment anyway. Some dual daggers. What is the dagger? What's the dagger for the bonus? The bonus between dagger? 
dagger is quick, bypasses some dodge, bypasses some parry, some parry, and does bonus ambush damage. But is not particularly strong. Yeah, it's okay. It's not as weak as you would expect compared to like the spears. All right, once sure again, you get a sure again. There you go. Boom. There you go. Back to the war band. Still, still don't have money. Money is getting a bit of a problem. Smokers down. We have nine days left. How much do they need? They need 75. We have a cluster, which is 15. We're actually, uh, halfway there. If I need money, we can sell to the other smugglers in piece, like piecemeal. I'm not sure if it's better to do that and try to like get a bunch of, you know, get money to improve our characters, or if it's better to save up to make sure we get that shipment first. Yeah, I don't want a talisman. The main talisman's like a sister thing. No, because the other escape had it. Weird. I don't really see a lot of head I don't really see headgear slots. Sword, probably better than just daggers. And it's pretty cheap. Stuff's actually pretty cheap. Fighting claws, I feel like it's only a hero thing. Shurikens, I don't need a lot of shurikens. I think we're okay to saving our money. Back to camp. Veteran system, saw that skill point I haven't used. All the skills in the veteran system seem pretty pretty slight. So I think I'll just save it until I know what I want, until I have a better idea of uh, how the game works so I don't waste the veteran points. Although I guess it only counts as warband anyway, so it's not a big deal, but... The bonuses are small enough that not taking one isn't really a... It's not gonna be like, oh, it's, oh no, I don't have the extra 2% reduction on buying items when everything costs, you know, 10 gold anyway. You want more agility, right? What, what what does initiative? There is initiative. Tell me, initiative. Fifty two. What what affects initiative? Increase initiative alertness. I don't really want to hire alertness though. You are leaders. Give me more. Well, you get leadership because you're a leader. Marshall, you get weapon skill, or you get accuracy for more crit chance. I guess you get strength. More agility. Melee resistance, dodge chance. More strength, a little bit more damage. Bypass parry chance, which I'm really having. Pass climb. Dodge and he does need he was getting beat up. Let's give him the extra dodge chance. Prevent him from taking so much damage. Alright, apply. Confirm. I want the accuracy because I'm to be a big have lots of crit. You're a hero, I want you to be a ranged dude. Increase range skill. Or accuracy even. Because that you know increases crits for yeah, let's give the range weapons. More toughness. I want heroes to have at least three toughness, kinda. I don't think it's as big of a deal. Three strength is kind of a big deal because he was more carrying capacity. Three toughness though. A little bit more wounds, I mean he's gonna just be trying to stick at range, it's probably not a big deal. Versus uh increased agility, getting around. And again, he doesn't really need to dodge, but he's getting hit anyway. We'll give him the better chance to get around. And you are just a henchman, Hurtvar. I'll give you a weapon skill and intelligence. Increase resistances. Increase initiative. We'll give you increased initiative. I haven't run into a lot of magic yet. I don't think you need leadership. That is more Allo, even though he's not the leader. Or Skaven not being so cowardly is probably good. You're injured. And I have no points apparently. Poor Malk slinking there. Mm, more weapon skill. Fly, confirm. You, more weapon skill. Fly, confirm. And is that everyone? Is everyone's leveled up? It's supposed to be everyone leveled up. Alright. Now, <laughs> next battle should be a little easier because we're actually leveled up. And we have a lot of money in the bank here because Smuggler's Den we get, yeah, we'll get, what, 75 gold? How much gold do we get? It doesn't tell me. But we'll get paid. Yeah, payment. We get 187 ducats once we fulfill this shipment of Warp, warp Stone. 
That also increases our reputation, which gives us more. It's fine. Gifts. Focuses add to the market rotation. Speaking of market rotation, before we go, the only consumable I saw was what, the boon? Increased perception and trap resistance. That sounds useful. Yeah, that's the only consumables that they have available to us right now. So no no faint potion anything for us. That's our second mission as given and our third mission. Second one didn't go so well, but third one went a lot better. So I'm really enjoying the game. Let's try to keep these rats leveling up and getting stronger. I want I want a another hero slot. And specifically I want the impressive slot, the rat ogre slot. Bunch of henchmen, eh. Henchmen aren't as interesting. I mean obviously they're important, but not quite as interesting as the heroes and the leaders. But anyway, I don't know what this guy's passive skill does. Ten percent dodge repair cost so good. Good good job, leader. Should give him I should maybe should give him some more strength so it does a little bit more melee damage. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll leave a like to the video, subscribe for more fun, I can steal, and I'll see you next time.